So, uh, this video is entitled, A Tribute to Bert Elliott, and that's Roberta Elliott, E-L-L-I-O-T-T. -T. Um, it's not pronounced Elliott, although some of us do that from time to time. Uh, Bert passed away uh, the 13th of last month. I got maybe 13th of this month. Hmm, it must be. Yeah, just a little while ago. At any rate, uh, Bert came to mind. I was just in a little cafe. I'm in Barcelona, as you know. And uh, I was sitting in a cafe on the street, and a man lit a cigarette and continued to smoke it next to me. And I thought, oh, they should outlaw smoking. And then I remembered something that uh, Bert's son, Randy, a close friend of mine, said to me years ago. He said, there's nothing worse than a reformed anything. And, of course, I used to smoke cigarettes, so when people do it around me, it's completely disgusting, and they should be, uh, you know, executed and electrocuted and eliminated from the planet. Um, until I stop and think, wait a minute, I'm outside of the cafe, there's more motorcycles on the road here than I've ever seen in my life, um, and cars, but not, there's a bunch of cars, but not more than I've seen, because you know, I've been in New York and stuff. But at any rate, I got thinking about, there's nothing more, worse than a reformed anything, and uh, then I got th thinking about Bert, and Randy and I, over the years, we've kept, stayed in touch. We graduated, we started school together, we graduated close to the same time, uh, and then after school, uh, after college, he would call me from time to time, and we'd do similar things. Uh, at one point, he called me and said, there's a man who's been in Tibet studying. Uh, do you want to go do a weekend? Well, yeah, it was out in West Texas. So I flew out, we drove out in his car, you know, spent the weekend on this big ranch in Texas, and this man talked about different things on his studies in Tibet. And, and people were often confused and amazed that Elliot and I were the two doing it because we played rugby and drank a lot together. But I don't know what we were searching for then, but maybe we're still searching for the same thing. But this man set up a circle, uh, a forgiveness circle, he called it. And he said that we had to forgive a woman. And it was mainly women in the class. And every woman in the class had the same woman that they had to forgive, which was their mom. That got to me, and I said, oh, <laughs> I like my mom. And boy, you could feel the energy of the whole place shift. And then Randy, who was sitting to my right, said, wow, I like his mom. And I looked and said, hey, I, I like his mom too. <laughs> and he said, I like my mom. And uh, it went on from there, but we realized that we liked each other's moms, and uh, just great companions for us. Yeah. I drove home from Texas one time. Elliot had been out traveling through China, etc. And we drove home together and we got to Bob and Bert's place in uh, Washington, PA. And we finished up after dinner and we were sitting at the dining room table. And Roberta Elliot and Bob Elliot, no. Bob was not there. Randy was there. But Roberta got me laughing so hard that I literally fell off the dining room chair. And while I was on the ground, between her and Randy, I was on the ground begging for mercy, just begging, because they would just pick these little... And for the life of me, I can't remember what it was about right now, and I'm, I'm okay with that. But both of them just would say one more thing, and I was just... My sides ached, my face ached. It was one of those just stellar moments in life where nothing makes any sense and everything is as comical as it can be. Uh, I appreciate you, Bert. I'm glad you're on the planet with me. Uh, her maiden name was Mackenzie. Uh, she was a twin, as am I. I don't know what that means, uh, karmically, cosmically, holy shit-wise. But uh, it was great knowing you. I'm glad that the cigarette smoke reminded me that there's nothing worse than reformed in it. I'm glad that I smoked for a while so that that applied to me, so that I could talk to you today. Have a fun day, www.micpeakperformance.com.